Good evening, girls. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? It was good? Good. Okay. Did you rest or no? Did you go out? I, I work. was busy. <laughs> work. Oh my God. And you, Miley? I was very, very busy. 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 Working. No. No, because, yes, uh, in Saturday, but uh, Sunday, 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 I went to Mercado. To the marketplace, the market. Market, and in the afternoon, I was cleaning, I was cleaning my house. Uh, because the Sunday in the afternoon is only day in en el que puedo. Eh. Okay. Yes. So good to see you. Okay, Leslie. Okay, I'm so sorry, Leslie. I hope you feel better. Okay. We miss a lot of students today. We are on Monday. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance in honor of the punctuals. Okay, Jocelyn, Natalia. Jocelyn, Juana Candelaria. Karen Xiomara. I'm here, teacher. Good hey. night. Karina Yasmin. Okay, Carla Melissa. I'm here. Okay, Catherine Stephanie. Leslie, you don't need to speak, Leslie. Lisbeth. Present, teacher. Okay, Lucia. Present teacher. Excellent. Luz, Virginia. Present. Excellent. Margarita. Present teacher. Great. Maria de los Angeles. Martín. Miley. Present Miss. Great. Melissa Guadalupe. Michelle Beatriz. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Great. Roberto Eduardo. I'm here, present. Ok. Ok, Virginia. Roddy, Roddy Dalila, Sandra Maritza, Sandra, Selma, I'm here, great, Stephanie, I'm here, okay, and Victoria. Victoria,
Ok. Michelle. Ok, Michelle. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Catherine. Hmm. Ok. For today, okay, we are going to start our last week, or last week, right? And uh, we are going to start with a topic which is a kind of more difficult. Okay, we are going to see today the present perfect. Okay, present perfect. And we are going to compare ha um, with the simple past that we already learned, okay? We already learned about simple past, but now, or you can use, you can uh, uh, present perfect in different situations, but the simple past, it's like, um, um, how, how we can say, it's like the introduction to the to the present perfect okay so here we are going to combine um like two tenses right so we are going to learn about about it okay okay sandra era por ahí presente teacher okay gande Jocelyn, María de los Ángeles, Martín, ahí está María de los Ángeles, Melissa, Roddy, Victoria, okay, Stephanie, okay, so let us start. First, we are going to listen to the conversation in which they are using a uh, simple present, a present perfect and simple past. Okay, so here we have the conversation. Okay, let me know if you listen. Then practice. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. Sorry. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, so here we have the conversation. A few days. I'm Listen and practice. Okay, do you have questions regarding vocabulary? Okay, they are talking about experiences. Okay, life experiences. Okay, they are probably visiting uh, a city or a place and they have made many or different activities. Ah, yes, they are. Uh, okay, questions? No? My feet are killing me. 
my feet. It's like an expression. When you walk too much in high heels, so you at the end of the day, your your feet are killing, killing you. Okay. You have a lot of pain on your feet. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you need a massage. I need you in this moment. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, so let's practice. Okay, two volunteers to read the conversation. Ah, Martin. You are going to read, Martin. You are the first victim. Martin, you are going to be told. Okay, and Lisbeth. You go first, Lisbeth. Yes, sir. It's great to see you. So, have you been in New Orleans long? Last a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a just look yet? Yeah, I already been to one oh well how about a real world tour uh, i've already done that too have you ridden in a street car they are love them? Actually, that's how I got there. I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, thank you. Okay, two more volunteers. Okay, Selma. No, teacher. Lucia. Okay. okay, Selma and Lucia. Okay, start, Selma. Okay. It's great to see you. So, how have you been in your audience long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can wait to show you the city. How you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I'll be already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I'll be already done that too. How you riding in a streetcar? There are lots of odd fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, okay thank you. Okay, remember the pronunciation of this word is river, river boat, river boat tour. Riverboat tour. Okay. Ah, Kande. Good night, Kande. Okay, Kande, mm -hmm. you are going to be the next victim. Oh. And Eduardo. Okay, I tried. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to start. No, you are going to be Todd. Oh, Todd. Ah, okay. I start. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's great to see you, um, Roberto. Have you been new, in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show, to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I have already been to one. Oh, well, have a riverboat tour? 
Oh, I I already done. Okay. I already done two. Have you ridden in a streetcar? There are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I'm really just, I want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay. okay, so let's see the... Okay, the present perfect tense. Okay, let's see the grammar. Okay. Como les decía, eh, digamos que el present perfect y el simple past están como un poco relacionados. Ok, entonces debemos manejar bien el simple past para luego poder aprender el present perfect. Entonces dice que the present perfect, you can use it when, ok, when you talk about past experiences in your life. Okay, cuando estamos hablando de cosas que usted ha hecho, lugares a los que ha viajado, eh, personas que ha conocido, ok, experiences, ok, past experiences. Also, you are going to, you can use it with recent past actions, o sea, cosas que acaban de pasar. Y en este caso también menciona por ahí en su material que podemos utilizar ya sea simple past o present perfect cuando estamos hablando de una recent past action, algo que acaba de ocurrir. Entonces podemos utilizar cualquiera de los dos tiempos. Luego la, la más común o la que más se menciona acerca del present perfect es actions that start in the past, okay, but continue in the present or are still true o siguen siendo ciertas. Okay, entonces, por ejemplo, si yo me casé hace 15 años y todavía sigo casada con la misma persona, entonces puedo utilizar el present perfect. Okay. Muy bien, y también hay ciertas palabras, así como lo vimos en el simple past, hay ciertas palabras que nos, como que nos ayudan a ubicarnos en qué tiempo, qué tiempo en qué tiempo estamos. Entonces, si se recuerdan, en simple past usábamos yesterday, a week ago, last month, que ¿okay? palabras que nos hacían referencia al pasado y en este caso para el present perfect tenemos dos palabras que son already and yet que ¿okay? aunque tienen significados diferentes y se ubican diferente en la oración entonces already es cuando eh, ya hicimos algo pero lo hicimos antes de lo esperado o sea, como que nos adelantamos un poco a lo que teníamos planeado. Entonces, para eso utilizamos already. Y el yet es cuando todavía no, se, no lo hemos realizado. Entonces, digamos que son un tanto opuestos. Already and yet. Already lo va a ubicar después del has o have. Y el yet va a ir at the end. At the end of the sentence. Okay. Y luego nos menciona. Obviamente, de simple past, la diferencia es que lo vamos a utilizar para acciones que ya fueron completadas. Que okay? finish actions in the past, que okay? ya ocurrieron y ya terminaron. Que okay? esa es la diferencia del simple past con el present perfect. Porque en el present perfect, eh, digamos que empezaron ya en el pasado, pero todavía siguen siendo ciertas o todavía eh, se siguen realizando hasta hoy, como por ejemplo un trabajo, un novio, 
O sea que lo empecé hace años, pero todavía uh, en el presente continúo en la misma situación. Can you see the... Está bien, no, a ver, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Uh, sorry, no me dicen que no la estoy compartiendo. Ahora sí. No estaban viendo esta, ¿verdad? No. no. Sorry. Ok, entonces, aquí está, eh, digamos, como el resumen de cuándo vamos a utilizar el present perfect. Experiences, recent past actions, and actions that start in the past and continue in the present. Okay, y las dos palabras con las que vamos a identificar el present perfect, que sería already and yet. And here we have some examples. For example, I visited over 20 countries. Okay, it's a life experience okay he's never been to the u.s okay también para cosas que nunca hemos hecho o sea aplica tanto para cosas que hemos podido hacer o como cosas que no hemos podido hacer todavía okay i've been tired lately okay lately it means recently Okay, recently, a few uh, days ago. We haven't seen Harry recently. Okay, I've studied English since I was eight years old. Y significa que todavía sigue estudiando inglés, porque dice que todavía continúan en el presente. I know him for years. Okay. Esas también son palabras que since and for son palabras que también nos van a ayudar a identificar que tra estamos trabajando con present perfect. Okay. Since es desde. Entonces since es cuando usted establece un periodo de tiempo en su vida o una época que desde que era niño, desde que era joven. Okay. And for is for a specific period of time. Okay. I know him for years, for weeks, for months. Okay. A specific period of time for 10 years. Okay. Questions. Ya vamos a ver más ejemplos y, y ejercicios. Pero está claro cuándo lo vamos a utilizar el present perfect. Yes. Ok. Muy bien. Let's. Let's see an example. Okay, here we have a reading. Rising stars career change. Okay. Help me to read, Roberto, read the first paragraph, please. Ah, oh, Roberto ya pasó, ¿verdad? En el... ¿O no pasó, Roberto Carlos? No, no ha pasado, teacher. Ah, pues. The first paragraph, please. Okay. ¿Hasta dónde, eh, teacher? The, the first paragraph. El primer paragraph. Okay, perfect, perfect. Fabrice, su new career. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fabrice uh, Mumba has had an extraordinary life so far. He has lived on two continent, continents and has had two successful currents. He has... Careers, okay. Careers or careers? Careers. Oh, careers, okay. He also uh, nearly died, died on the soccer field in front 
of a light TV audience on Mayums. We take a look at the uh, his life and his new career. 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 Okay, continue, Margarita, the next paragraph, please. Fabrice, until he says. Fabrice lived in the Democratic Republic, Republic of Congo when he was a child, but he was lived in the UK since he was 11. His career as a soccer player began, began with a training program at Arsenal Football Club. When he was 14, 14, three years later, he finished school and became a full-time professional soccer player. It was hard and I had to train every day, but that's how my career really started, he says. Okay, thank you. Michelle, continue the next paragraph, please. As a professional, okay, usted me dice hasta dónde, porque until uh, read it, complete it until newspaper, the national newspaper. Okay, as a professional soccer player. Fabrice was a winning star who scored many goals, signed multi million dollar contracts, and was frequently named player of the season. However, during an important quarterfinal match, Mwamba's hair stopped and he collapsed. It was over an hour before his hair started again. And he, wa and he was in the hospital for a month. Surprisingly, he made an excellent recovery, but he had to change careers for medical reasons. I be had to go back to the beginning again with my career and learn completely new skills. He say, but his new career has a journalist is going well. He has recently completed a degree in a sport journalism with a work placement and the BBC and has already written written articles for a national newspaper. Okay. Thank you. In the last paragraph. Um Help me, Jocelyn, please. Okay. Eh, todo el, lo que falta, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Fabricius has learned a lot from Shangi Carriers, and he has become an ambassador for a program, for a program called like Skins, which helps you people prepare for prepare. The, prepare. prepare for the world on work. So what I beach advice advice those he hide you people I am really grateful for having so many opportunities and that be being able to do different things. So then my mind I did advice. You, have advice. you have to be open to doing lots of new things in order to Succeed. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So tell me some sentences that are using past perfect. Which sentences are in past in present perfect? Sorry. Fabrice Mamba has had an extra, extraordinary life so far. Okay. So that means he's still alive. 
right? Because it is was born in the past, but he's still alive in the present. Okay, what else? Another one? He has lived on two continents and has had to successful career. Okay, yes. In this case, ¿cuál de las tres que vimos aplica? De las, de las tres razones por las que íbamos a usar present perfect. ¿Cuál aplicaría? Simple past with verb. Sería, digamos, algo, una acción que ocurrió recientemente en el pasado. Estaría hablando de una acción que empezó en el pasado y continúa en el presente. O estar hablando de un um, life experiences. ¿Cuál sería con esa? He has lived, dice, in two continents. Experiences, correct. He's talking about experiences. Okay, tell me two more, two more sentences in present perfect. He was lived in the UK since he was 11. Is that a past part, a qual, este, present perfect? Present perfect. It, he was, dijo, he was. No. Was, was is no. past. Uh -huh. Was is past. Yes. O sea que vivió allá pero ya no vive ahí. ¿Qué? Okay, another example. One more, one more example. He also nearly died on the social in front of a the audience millions we take a look at the, his life and his new career in which paragraph in which paragraph in which paragraph next to the he next to the he has lived on the continent and has had to social for career oh, okay Well, no la veo, pero tenemos, por ejemplo, también está, he has recently completed a degree in sport journalism. Ok, está hablando de Una acción que terminó recientemente. He has recently completed a degree in sports journalism. Mira Entonces, que está abajo de ese teacher. He uh, has teacher. already written articles. Yes, also. It's talking about life experiences. Okay. He has already written articles for a national newspaper. Okay, experiencia. Por ejemplo, usted lo puede poner en su currículum. Lo he escrito para el BBC, para el Time, New York Times, etcétera, etcétera. Okay, experiences. Ok, eso es para que veamos como ejemplos y, y, y veamos un poquito la diferencia. Now, let's make some exercises. I don't know if there are questions so far. Hay preguntas hasta el momento. No. No. Okay. Ah, se me olvidó enseñarles teacher. algo. Oh.
Les quería enseñar lo de la pronunciación, porque por ahí me estaban preguntando la pronunciación también de las de los verbs in past. Entonces, let's listen to this pronunciation. They are in present perfect and simple past. Some of them are present perfect and some of them are simple past. One. A. I've lived here for five years. Did you listen? Okay. Yes, teacher. B. Yes. I lived here for five years. Okay. Which one is in simple past? A or B? A or B? B. 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 Okay. B. B. Okay. Number two. Two. A. He's met her before. B. He met her before. Okay. Which one is in present perfect? A or B? A. A. Okay, yes. Hey. Uh -huh. Ahorita porque la están viendo, pero si fuera solo con, con el, el oído, ¿qué tal les iría? Ok, ahora dice, you are going to complete. Ahora no les aparece la palabra. So, you have to guess, or according to what you listen, You are going to tell me if it is present perfect or simple past. One. I've met him a few times. Mm -hmm. I have met him a few times. Present perfect. Present perfect? Yes. Do you want to listen again? Okay, listen. One. I've met him a few times. Yes, present perfect. Number two. Two. We enjoyed our vacation. Mm -hmm. Simple pass. Simple pass. Yes, simple pass. Yes, okay, simple pass. Simple pass. Three. He's found a good job. Present perfect. Present perfect. Okay, we're bien. Four. They've decided to take the course. Again. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Four. They've decided to take the course. Simple pass. Simple pass. We decided. Yes, simple pass. Five. She called the company. Simple pass. Simple pass. Simple pass. Okay, let's check the answers. Okay, simple pass. Mire la number four, present perfect. She decide. Okay, she decide. Okay, number three, present perfect. Number two, simple past. And number one, present perfect. Okay. One. I've met him a few times. Two. We enjoyed our vacation. Three. He's found a good job. Four. They've decided to take the course. Five. She called the company. And Dave. Dave decide. Dave decide. Okay. Now, ahora sí.
Muy bien, teníamos entonces acá the uses. Here are some. I've never been fired from a job. Ivan has already finished work and it's only 3 p.m. I've heard that Simona is leaving the company. My dad has been retired for 12 years. I've been to Australia twice. I last went there two years ago. Okay, so how do we form the present perfect? Okay, dice que lo vamos a formar utilizando have or has plus the past participle of the main verb. Okay, entonces voy a utilizar mi sujeto. Luego, according to the subject, I'm going to use have if it is I, you, we, they, and has, if it is he or she. Luego, mi verbo tiene que ir en pasado participio. Entonces, y esto me va a, o sea, esto me da la pauta. Esto es como un resaltador que me va a alertar, porque si ven alguna, la contracción del has, Ok, tenemos una forma contractada que es muy similar, por no decir que es igual, a la forma contractada del verbo to be is, ¿verdad? Pero yo sé que si luego de, si yo digo she has, o she's, she's, y luego tengo mi verbo en past participle, entonces obviamente yo sé que no está hablando de... de de presente continuo, sino de present perfect. Entonces, estas combinaciones hay que, hay que tratar como de, de memorizarlas para saber reconocer el tiempo verbal que se está usando en la oración. Entonces, como les decía, to talk about experiences, to talk about something that happened earlier than we expected or didn't happen when we expected. O sea, como sorpresivamente. Entonces, para esta eh, dijimos que podíamos usar already and yet. También still. Ok, still. Still es que continúa. Y eh, it, it continues. Ok. Por ejemplo, I'm... Uh, tenemos... I still haven't finished to work. Ok, continúa. Um, y to talk about the duration of situation that started in the past and is, is still true now or continue in the present. Y para eso íbamos a utilizar for and since. For, for a specific period of, period of time and since, uh, like in general, desde... Um, desde hace cuánto tiempo. Y okay, aquí está cómo, iba, cómo vamos a reconocer si vamos a, 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 a utilizar present perfect o simple past. Entonces, we use present perfect to talk about the past from the perspective of the present. So it's like you are remembering something that happened in the past but it was important to you and you still remember, uh, remember that. Or if it is still true until now. Okay. O, sea, o también es como, dice, this is my best book I've ever read. O sea, en mi vida había leído un, un este es el mejor libro de toda mi vida. Ok, entonces es como para hacer una visualización okay, de todos los libros que ha leído, pero este es el mejor. Ok, I've lived in London for five years, ok, and I still live, live there. Ok, continúa, continúa la acción. Ok, también dice que hay algunas 
time expressions, lo que les comentaba de como algunas que pasan para el pasado, tenemos algunas time expressions que nos van a, a guiar o nos van a dar como una luz de que estamos usando present perfect. Por ejemplo, eh, so far, this morning, today, this week, and this year. Okay, si se fijan, todas están en presente y están haciendo referencia al presente, pero an, al corto tiempo, al corto tiempo, o sea, no, no tan general, sino en el ahorita, en lo que está pasando ahorita en el presente. I've seen my friend twice this year. Okay, he's only re read one chapter of the book so far. Okay, también dice we use the simple past to talk about completed actions in the past and when they happen. We often use the simple past with words that past time expression. Y aquí están las time expressions que vamos a usar para el simple past. Acciones en el pasado y que ya finalizaron, que ya fueron completadas. Y que ya en el presente ya no continúan o ya no son ciertas. Por ejemplo, que yo tuve un novio en el pasado, pero ya ahora ya no lo tengo. Entonces voy a utilizar simple past. Porque ya no estoy con el mismo novio. Ok, entonces tenemos the time expressions. Yesterday, la Saturday, las week. Ok, que fueron las que estuvimos viendo cuando vimos el simple past. Que we use the present perfect or simple past to talk about something that happened a short time ago or recently. Okay. We have recently moved to a new office. Okay. And um, we often ask a question or say something in the present perfect and give more information in simple past. Entonces, aquí es como yo les decía que se relacionan mucho estos dos tiempos porque podemos preguntar acerca de life experiences utilizando present perfect pero nuestra respuesta eh, si bien la respuesta corta va a ser en present perfect but when we add information we are going to we are going to use simple past okay have you ever met Anna's sister yes I've met her Okay, sí, ya la he conocido. I talked to her, I'm adding information at Anna's birthday party last month. Okay, that's, that is in past. Do you know anything about Lima? Yes, I've been Lima, so I know it pretty well. I went there last year. Okay, we add information. We can, we can add information We answer the question and then we add information using simple past. Questions? Teacher. Yes. Uh, what does mean recently? Recently, recientemente. Recently. Oh. O sea, yes. hace poco. A short time. A short time ago. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, so let's do the exercises. Okay, choose the correct options to complete the sentences. Okay, number one, Roberto. Carlos o Eduardo. Ah, Eduardo. <laughs> okay, uh... Even I've even I've been I've been to the movies three times this last week. This or last week? Oh, this or last week. Uh, let me see. Is last week? Okay, Roberto Carlos, are you agree? El número ¿Está, ¿Está de acuerdo con la respuesta de Eduardo de su 
compañero. Which you want was, Robert? Yes. Are you agree? Los dos Robertos están de acuerdo? Maybe, maybe. Yes. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me see. Email to the moment. Tande. No. Same, same, the same. Number one. Are you agree hey. with Eduardo, with the Robertos? Or, or maybe? Sorry, teacher. I can't hear. But listen, listen, yes. see, listen. I've been to the movies three times. Okay, Miley. Are you agree? Okay, I try. I disagree because I think is I I I I be I been I been to the movie the movie three times this week because uh si a simple pause sería the last week. Pero qué cambiaría en nuestra oración? ¿Por qué ya no, no puede ser el simple pause? No sería pass? como el I have. Correct. Porque tenemos el have. El Correct. Have. Sí, y nuestro verbo está en pasado participio. O sea, si no Ajá. dijera, I went to the movies. I Ajá. went to the movies last week. The yes. last week. Mm -hmm. Or last week. Yes, correct. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Okay, number two. Hoy oh, sí, Roberto Carlos, number two. Sara has has spoken spoken to me yesterday. Eh, teacher, fíjese de que en sí no le he comprendido bien toda la, la situación, ¿verdad? No sé hasta ahorita porque es mucha información que es, es nueva para absorberla de un solo. Yo para la dramática cuesta. Pero en sí que es lo que desea. En, que si es, lo vamos a, si está en pasado, si vamos a utilizar el en lo que es el present perfect o qué, porque la realidad me deja algo. Aquí tenemos dos opciones. Vaya, estamos haciendo un comparativo del presente perfecto con el pasado simple. Entonces, okay. eh, hemos visto las características del presente perfecto, cuándo lo vamos a utilizar, y aquí le dan las dos opciones te dan la opción de el present perfect y la opción del pasado. Entonces usted, de acuerdo a la composición de la oración, de acuerdo a, lo, a las pistas, digamos, que, que se han dado de cuándo se usa el presente perfecto, va a seleccionar una de las dos. ¿Qué es spoken? Es, es el past participle de speak. Hablar. Oh, okay. Es um, en the first Sarah has spoken is 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 in the past, right? Past participle es pa sería eh, spoken is past participle y si yo lo uno mm -hmm. con has es present perfect. Si yo digo, digo spoke, estoy diciéndolo en el pasado. Uh -huh. Ok, ¿cuál opción cree que es la correcta? Vea las pistas en la oración. Te voy a ayudar, bye. Eso, gracias. Se ahí ahí tenemos una time expression. Yeah. Yes. Es tu yesterday es es past, right? Uh -huh. Algo que sucedió al, anteriormente. Uh -huh. creería yo. Okay, yes, that's correct. So uh -huh. Sarah spoke to me yesterday. Yes. Uh -huh. okay, okay, number three, Cande. Have you seen? Or do you see Maria recently? 
have you seen Maria recent, recently? Okay. Are you agree, Lisbeth? ¿Está de acuerdo, Lisbeth? Ok, aquí... Yes. yes. Okay. No. No. So, do you see Maria recently? Ha visto a Maria recentemente. La otra. Do you see? Mm -hmm. This one. Okay. And yes. Okay. Both are correct. Both are correct. Okay. Remember, para cosas que uh, pasaron recientemente, podemos utilizar cualquiera de los dos tiempos. So both are correct. Okay. Number four. Sandra. Do you plan or have you planned your vacation yet? Do you plan? Repeat, please. Do you plan? Do you plan? Do you plan? Do you? Do you plan or have you planned? Have you planned your vacation yet? Um, uh -huh. Presente perfecto es el how you plan your vacation yet. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, present, sí. present perfect. Sí. Yes, have you. Okay, have you plan? Porque tenemos el la jet como pista y dijimos que ese nos iba a indicar que el tiempo tiene que ser present perfect. Okay, number five, Margarita. Okay. I never went or I've never been to Moscow. I've never been to Moscow. Yes, correct. Number six, Selma. Sería uh, uh, I visited los oh, beautiful place when I was in Argentina last year. Okay. Present perfect or simple past? El perfect present. Okay, yes, correct. Uh, present perfect, this one. Uh, yes, la segunda. Are you sh ah, la segunda. Sí. Simple past, simple past. Ah, okay. okay, yes. Yes, porque tenemos last year. Okay, Karen, number seven. This is the most difficult job I've ever had or I... Is, is present perfect. Present perfect, correct. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, number eight, Lisbeth. ¿O ya pasó usted? No. Okay. Ayude, no. Number eight, Lisbeth, and number nine, Melissa, para que se vaya pensando. Sorry, I haven't cooked dinner yet. I hope you aren't hungry. Okay, yes, correct. Porque tenemos jet. Number nine, Melissa. Karina, number nine. Hey, hurry up, it's time. Terminemos, nos faltan dos. Two volunteers. Her, her plane arrived at 
45. Arrive. In past. Okay. Are you agree? Yeah. Los demás? Perhaps are we? Sería present perfect. Present perfect? Why? La, la primera. ¿Por qué? Has. Pero ¿por qué? ¿Cuál es la razón? Um, yo entiendo por, por el verbo has que va acompañado del past participle a uh, rift que va uh -huh. pasado ya. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pasado participio. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero ¿por qué oh. a 10.45 qué nos indicaría para, para poder utilizar el has arrived? Eso nos indica tiempo. Pero es que como que aterrizó a las, a las, que aterrizó a las 10.45. Yes, it was completed. It was completed at, what, at that time. Ok, mm -hmm. entonces sería, ajá. Arrived. Sería, yes, arrived. And number 10, the last one, Michelle. You can do it. No, I can't. <laughs> what have you told? What have you told? Or I think what what I have you told thing of the movie. Oh, what did you think? What have you told or what did you think of the movie? What did you think of the movie? What did you think? Yes, past. Okay, porque ya vio la película y ahora le está preguntando su opinión. What did you think? Okay, le voy a mandar más ejercicios. Okay, more exercises. Please. I know <laughs> this topic, it's a kind of difficult. Por eso les decía yo, es un poquito más complicado de lo que hemos estado, de lo que hemos estado viendo. Okay, solo déjeme revisar. If you are here. A ver. Wait. Um. Jocelyn. I'm here, teacher. Ah, Jocelyn. En 10 minutos tarde, teacher. Cande, también late. Yes, yes, I, I had problems with the okay. Zoom. Martín, late. Are you still there, Martín? Melissa Guadalupe. Yes, I'm teacher. Rodi, Dalila. Dalila, no. No here. And um, Victoria. No, Victoria. Okay, so that's all for today. I'm going to send you the exercises, okay? I'm going to send you tonight okay. in order to practice, to practice more, okay? Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See, See, See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. Good night. Bye, teachers. Bye bye. 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 Bye.